going to glue on these little bits right over here. Uh, these are called the crimp connectors and it's what allows the satellite chain to have a place to attach onto the jump ring and the lobster class uh, making the closure. So we're going to be adding a little bit of glue onto there and um, um, attaching that all together. So for this part, we will need the crimp connectors. These little pieces right here, these are crimp connectors. These are also brass and plated with the fine 0.99 fine silver. And we'll need, let's see, we'll need these, our chain, and we'll need these two jump rings. We'll need this for later, and our lobster class. On the satellite chain, the ends of this, in order for this ball right here not to slide off, uh, this needs to be cut slightly short, um, about, you know, two of these lengths worth, about a sixteenth of an inch. Um, your kits should already be cut, but if you're just using a, a bulk spool of, of the satellite chain, you want to trim this off using a pair of flush cutters, um, about this sixteenth inch um, from the end and that will allow your ball chain to continue to stay on. So I'm just going to go ahead and do both of those ends, double check that they're both the length that I need them to be, so about sixteenth of an inch, just go ahead and cut that off, like so. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, squeeze out a little bit more glue on our little piece of plastic right here. and. some of these crimp end connectors onto the piece. For this you'll need your needle nose pliers. I like to hold on my needle nose pliers. I'll hold the crimp connector on with the needle nose plier right like that. And then um, swirl around your toothpick in the glue again. And pick up a little dab of it. And then we're going to insert it right into the end of the connector. Just enough in there to give it a place to hang on to. Pick up the end of the satellite chain and place it inside of there. And then you can use another fresh toothpick just to make sure that it's in place. Now this is kind of a tricky part. You can either start to squeeze it together with your fingers like that. I know that was hard to see because I was blocking it, but I just squeezed it shut with my, my fingers, and you're going to want to have this part right here where the chain is going to thread through that little hole. And then you're going to use another pair of needle you know, nose pliers to just kind of crimp it shut. And uh, you'll have a nice round ball. If you don't have a nice round ball, you can see I have a little bit of an uh, end there. You can let me just put this down so I can show you better. You can use your uh, needle nose pliers to kind of just squeeze that together and to kind of jockey it around until it's nice and flush. That's how you put that end on to the satellite chain. Now we're going to go ahead and do the other side, holding it with the needle nose pliers again. If my glue is starting to harden up, you might want to freshen that. Put a little dab inside of the base of the crimp connector, and the other end of the satellite ball chain inserts inside of there. I'm picking up, I'm moving it down closer so I can pick up the, so the slack won't be pulled, the chain won't be pulled on that crimp connector as I'm poking my toothpick just to make sure that that's nice and secure in there. Then you can either squeeze it slightly. My fingers, I just squeezed it slightly shut. Or you can use your needle nose pliers again to go in and close that up. You can see my chain is coming out the hole. I can double check my closure and adjust it. You just squeeze it slightly like that and you will adjust it so that your connector is now secure. Then we're going to go ahead and just add on to the end of this um, while this is drying. We'll go ahead and add on these. This one's going to be up there. We're going to go ahead and add on the jump ring. It's an undesigned. This is a six millimeter texture jump ring. These are brass and plated with the 0.999 fine silver. Just thread that right onto 
your jump ring. So I'm holding my jump ring, I always don't know how to do this, at six o'clock and nine o'clock. And then with one, I'm moving that direction. And with this one, I'm moving this direction. So I'm kind of like moving those together. And because this end right here, this um, crimp connector, this is so fine, you're gonna wanna make sure that your um, closure there is very flush. Otherwise that crimp connector can um, pull out of there. So you just kind of move it back and forth. I'll show you again on the next one. You just move it kind of back and forth until that area is nice and flush. Let's show you, I'll show you on this one. So again, holding them at three o'clock and nine o'clock, pulling with one and pushing with the other. I open up the jump ring. I'm going to thread on my crimp connector that I've attached onto the satellite chain. And this time I'm going to add also the lobster clasp because this side has the lobster clasp. And three o'clock and nine o'clock again. And I'll show you, you just kind of close that up. Now, if you have a big gap, you just kind of go back and forth and back and forth until it's nice and flush. And now we have our chain. Just go ahead and attach that and you can see the satellite chain now all assembled. So that's what that's gonna look like, whoops. Sometimes um, if this is, uh, you might have to open and close it a couple of times because that um, oxidization can get inside of the lobster clasp too. So just go ahead and thread on your jump ring. And now you have your chain. Thank you.